Hey guys, welcome to Chickenlandia. It is Friday and we've had an eventful week here in Chickenlandia. And as you know, if you follow me on Instagram and Facebook um, and Twitter, then you will know that I am about to unbox something new that I'm really excited about. This box is from a company that I just heard about recently called My Favorite Chicken, and they were nice enough to send me this box. This is a sponsored live stream um, because they sent me this box so I could try it out and let you guys know what I think. So I'm super excited about it, and right now we're just going to wait for some people to join in so that I can open this box. And I've got my, my drinky chicken hues. Hello. <laughs> yeah, I'm so glad. I'm so glad that you caught my live today. Hello, Christy Bits. <laughs> Hello, thank you for joining us. <laughs> so I was just saying, I've got this box here. Look at how big this box is. <laughs> Chicken Hughes says, hi, what do you have in that jar? In the jar. Okay. Uh, this is matcha. It's, it's a matcha latte, a cold matcha latte. Hello, Moonbird. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad that you're joining us today. Thank you so much. I love your I love your comments on my channel. I really appreciate your comments. I was just saying this is, um, and let us know where you're from, because some of you, I don't know where you're from. Um, this is a matcha latte. This is my new drink because I, I quit drinking coffee. <laughs> Possibly for good. We shall see. Alabama. Christy Betts, you're from Alabama. I love Alabama. I have been to Alabama. Chicken Hughes, Northwest Indiana. I've also been there. Lovely, lovely area. Um, but yeah, and this is um, hemp milk. And it's got like a little, little bit of cinnamon in it. And it's so good. I finally found something to replace coffee because... I really can't, I really cannot do coffee. Moonbird, you are from Northeast Ohio. Wow, I've been to Ohio too. <laughs> I've been I've been all over the US, all wonderful places. Chicken Hughes says, oh wow, you're very brave. I am. Green Dream Project, thank you for being here. I'm so glad you made it. Um, I was just talking about my drink and that I have, I quit drinking coffee. So, you know, I quit drinking coffee probably about, I don't know, maybe two, two months ago. Green Dream Project says this wouldn't pop up on my feed. You know what? I don't know why. It also, I checked um, my other channel, the Chickenlandia family channel to see if it popped up and it didn't. So YouTube, you need to get it together. <laughs> People want to go to Chickenlandia. Uh, Chicken Hughes. Okay. Yes, you're from. Sorry, just catching up here. Um. So yeah, I was like, I was drinking like dandelion stuff, which was okay, and I was drinking Ticino, which is another one that's okay. They're good, but let's face it. They do not take the place of coffee. But the matcha, and if you don't know what matcha is, it's green tea, but it's like a powder. Um, it is so good. And it's like, I feel like it's like a little treat. And I feel like I get a little, you know, a little bit of energy from it because it's got green, because it's green tea. So it has caffeine, but it doesn't have, I don't know what it is about coffee. It makes me like, ooh. <laughs> which isn't good. It is not good. And then, and then, and then I feel lousy later and can make me feel like depressed and everything else. I get anxious. No. Uh, Christy Betts, I heard it's good for you. It is good for you. It is. I've been like making, I've been doing, I've been being really good lately. I've been making some good changes. So I've been getting up early, doing yoga, quit drinking coffee, Cleaned up my diet a lot. You know, I'm not getting any younger. <laughs> I am not getting any younger. 
which you guys would know if you watched uh, my last video about the chicken tattoo that I will be getting soon <laughs> to celebrate 45 years around the sun. Christy Betts, I drink too much coffee. Well, you know, I did too. I did too. And for me, it's like, I would have like a couple shots. I like espresso. I don't like a drip coffee. It's just too bitter. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's just, and then I started like drinking in the afternoon too. And recently I went to go visit a friend that I hadn't seen in like 25 years. Actually, I say recently, but it was like last year. <laughs> Time goes by fast. Um, and I had drank coffee that morning and then I drank more coffee when I went to go see them. And I was so like jittery and out of it that I didn't really even get to enjoy seeing my friend that I hadn't seen in 25 years. And after that, I was like, I've got to do something about this, but it still took me like another year to quit. Moonbird, I can't drink coffee anymore unless it's decaf. It sets off my anxiety. Same. I switched to green tea with honey. Yeah. I mean, this is, um, I can't really do honey. So this has uh, like stevia in it and it's good. It's like, it's yummy. I love it. So anyway, guys, I still want to wait just a few more minutes. I'm super excited about this. Uh, this company is called My Favorite Chicken. And a friend of mine told me about them recently. They're a good company. You know, I don't like to, I, I will only work with companies that I really like what they're doing. I like, you know, that they're environmentally conscious. I like that they're putting out um, ethical products, you know, sustainable products, and that they have just have good business practices. So you, you guys probably know that I am a sponsor for Scratch and Peck Feeds, that I'm an ambassador for Scratch and Peck Feeds. Um, I'm also an ambassador for Henny and Rue. Those are two companies that I love. So this is a new company, my favorite chicken. <laughs> and I love that name. That was enough for me to be interested. But my friend was like, you have got to check out these certain things that this company is selling. Um, and it's innovative, a new, a, a new chicken thing that I think is going to make my life easier. So I'm always interested in that. Um, so I can't wait to open it. I have, I have a pretty good idea what's in this box, <laughs> but I have not seen it. I have not used it. I, I don't even really know. I, I have to look at it. I don't even really know how to use it. Um, so I'm excited about it, but my friend has been using them for a while and She's really, really impressed with it. So if you have chickens, you will be interested in this. And even if you don't have chickens, we will make it very entertaining for you. Because <laughs> you know, that's how we do it in Chickenlandia. And look, I got my new, I got a new necklace this week. If you watch my videos, you know I like food necklaces. And, you know, I like treat necklaces. And, um, which is ironic because I can't eat sugar. So... <laughs> So if I can't eat it, I'm going to wear it. And this is my new one. It's a little snow cone. How cute is that? I love, 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 love that. So, and of course, we've got the Chickenlandia merch, which is linked, which will be linked in the description. Um, so you can get your own Chickenlandia merch and be the envy of all your friends. <laughs> Mm. Well, I'm waiting, but I might just go ahead and start opening this. What do you guys think? Let me know. Do you want me to open it now or should I wait? <laughs> I'm going to start because this box is big. Oops. This is a big box. So I will start kind of. <laughs> Green Dream Project says, open! <laughs> I am going to at least start opening it. It's their loss. Yeah, if you didn't show up, it's your loss. <laughs> Just kidding. You're watching the replay right now. <laughs> if you are, <laughs> it's okay that you didn't show up. 
And if you guys wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, and I am actually, Green Dream, I am going to make you a admin, if you don't mind, because I don't have my normal admins on right now. They are in the UK. I think that worked. Did that work? Green Dream Project, let me know if that worked. No, I don't want to report you. There it goes. It did work. Okay. Oh, it's like right there at the top. Okay. Look at this. <laughs> okay. So, what this is. Yes, Green Dream turned blue. He's he's an admin now. I assume it's Jim that's joining us. Is Jessica joining us? Let me know. Okay. So, I okay, I need to like do this. <laughs> okay, there we go. There we go. Chicken nesting pads. Aspen nesting pads, ooh. Provides stable footing for newly hatched chicks and pullets. Naturally moisture absorbing, creating a sanitary nesting surface for eggs. Who's here? New England, New Orleans. God, I can't talk, I'm too excited. <laughs> new, new Orleans gardener, I'm, I'm pronouncing it like that. I, I sometimes say New Orleans and sometimes I say New Orleans, and you probably say it different. You probably say New Orleans. <laughs> so it is wonderful to have you here. Thank you for joining us. I am just opening this new this uh, this uh, box that was sent to me by this new company. This company that is new to me that I'm super excited about called My Favorite Chicken. And look, look at how buff that chicken is. <laughs> you know you can trust a company when the chicken has pecs like that, look at that. And yeah, I said pecs, pun intended. <laughs> so uh, they sent me chicken nesting pads with aromatic nest herbs, lemon verbena, calendula, chamomile, echinacea, lavender, lemon balm, spearmint, and rosebuds and petals. How awesome is that? Okay. So I want to make sure that you guys can see this. So what these are is they go into, oh my gosh, it's a whole bunch of them. There's like a whole bunch of them in here. <laughs> and they smell good. It smells good because it has these herbs in it. Um, and th these herbs will first of all they're like calming herbs and you know chickens get a little bit a little bit anxious sometimes and they need to be calmed down six hand spice yay thank you for joining us i'm so glad that you're here um i'm just opening this box so i'm like really excited right now um so the herbs that are that are in this nesting pad are great for keeping mites and lice away. Um, it's just it's just another layer of protection. I'm not saying it's gonna like you know. There's always an exception that they they could still get them, but it is a good repellent and a good layer of protection. You know we need that. We need that when we're raising chickens because just about every year I get um, the whole mites thing. And that happens usually in the fall is when you got to keep an eye out for the mites and the lice. Um, so at least where I live, that's, that's the big issue. So the herbs will help with that. It smells good. And it's already like this liner that you could just set into your nesting box. And you can use this for baby chicks. Um, and it feels like it's really absorbent. It's very thick. Look at that. Very thick. Um, so I am really excited about that. Let me just read a little bit more 
And it's like a box. I mean, this is a big box. <laughs> it's a big box. And it's full of them. So, yeah, that, that was quite generous of them. Uh, and they, I, I just, I just met them. I just started chatting with them maybe a couple weeks ago, um, just about how we could possibly collaborate and super nice, super easy to deal with. And you know, you don't like to deal with companies that are like not nice and not easy to deal with, <laughs> or at least I don't. So that's important to me. And I don't want to, you know, promote a company that is not those things so and okay so these are made in the u.s moisture ab absorbing sanitary place for uh surface for your hands to lay their eggs um made in the u.s from great lakes aspen excelsior fibers cool and there's Oh, okay, so this is a 10-pack. There's 10 of them in here. Woo! And I have I have three nesting boxes, but I also have, like, other areas. I know it's so fancy, 6 It's <laughs> funny. It's super fancy. I am happy right now. Um, and they also sell other things. I, you know, like I said, I just, I, I just got familiar with this, um, uh, with this company, yes, Green Jeep Excelsior. Yes, I read that right. <laughs> um, I just was told about this company like maybe a month ago, um, and then I started checking out their website, which they should have it on here. I think it's just myfavoritechicken.com. You don't have it on here, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I'm going to link it in the description. Um, and they have other stuff on their website as well. I think they have some Henny and Rue stuff. I think they have some Scratch and Peck stuff. And you know if they're selling that stuff, it's a good company. Um, so yeah, if you want to see like the back, it's just, it just has like a, a liner on it. And it feels like you would leave that on and just put it into the nesting box. Chicken, Christy Betts, LOL, my chickens always use one box. I know, <laughs> they always use one box. So. It's so funny, you know, you guys know that I teach uh, chicken classes. I'm going to bring this a little bit closer. And one of the questions I always get is, how many nesting boxes do I need? And in my head, I'm thinking, one. <laughs> like, how many chickens do you have? 20? You need one. <laughs> because you know that they all want the one nesting box for whatever reason the prime real estate that there's always a broody hen in it so they're always like <laughs> mad at each other and bickering about who gets to go in and squawking if they don't get in on time you know what i'm talking about <laughs> um so yeah actually you should have three you know usually depending on how many you have you'll need more than that but i have three nesting boxes and but then i also have other areas um, where I keep uh, other areas where they like to lay. So there's like a, a crate inside the coop that sometimes I will, um, separate a chicken and put them in the crate just for bedtime. Um, if I have a new chicken or whatever, so they get used to, okay, this is the coop. This is my flock. This is where I need to go. Um, but right now it's open, so the ducks and the chickens like to go in there and lay an egg. For uh, NM Personal Training, hello. Hello, thank you for joining us. I need. Uh, are you in New Mexico? I need to come there and do, do some personal training, get in shape. <laughs> Homestead in the Highlands, hello. It's okay that you're late. I'm so glad you're here. You're painting a room. That's, a, that's, that's work. Peg the drum, hello. Good evening, Madam President, and of course, all hail Chickenland. <laughs> Hi, everyone else. Well, it's good to have you guys here. I just so I un I opened this box. I just did this unboxing from this new company called My Favorite Chicken, and they sent me ten. Oh no! <laughs> so uh, NM Personal Training says no NM are my initials. <laughs> LOL. I'm from the UK. Well, thank you for joining us. 
all the way from the UK. It's late over there. I appreciate you staying up late and joining us in Chickenlandia. So um, they sent me 10 of these nesting box liners that are awesome. So I'm going to put them in the crate, but also there's an area. So um, <laughs> I'll sit in the highlands. That's fine. <laughs> um, okay. It's 10, 20 PM. Not too late. I'm always thinking it's super late, but usually I'm on at four. So it's like midnight over there. Uh, so I also have an area inside my coop where my ducks sleep. Now, if you have ducks or any other kind of waterfowl, you know that they are messy and gross <laughs> and that they make my nice chicken coop very dirty. And at night, it's like a, it's a struggle because you don't want there to be like mildew growing in your coop. <laughs> Six hand spice. Don't have ducks. Yeah, you. but you need to get them <laughs> because they're fun and they're cute. And it's a good thing they're cute because they're really messy. So um, my ducks really love to be in the coop with the chickens, even though they have a separate area that they're supposed to sleep in. They don't like to sleep there. They want to sleep with the chickens. And so they make this one corner of my coop, of our coop, really gross. And it's not good because uh, mildew can grow in there, um, ammonia can build up, and it's just not good. So I just now have a solution for that because they sleep in a in a tray, and um, it's like it's like a it's like a kitty litter tray. Okay, so that that's where they sleep and they poop in it, and that works pretty well. But if I put these liners in that tray it's gonna be even better so I am very excited to try that what I'm gonna do guys is I am gonna go and you know probably this weekend replace you know go in and put these in the nesting boxes um, homestead in the Highland says you have the cutest little duck the white one <laughs> marshmallow she's cute but she's angry. <laughs> she's adorable. I need several of her. Yes, she's very cute. She's very cute. And Mr. Robot is super cute, but Mr. Robot is molting right now, so he's looking a little shabby. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna use these. I'm gonna start using these, and I'll you know I'll of course do a video of me putting them in and stuff. Hopefully, I can do that this weekend. I would like to have a clean coop when I do that. So you guys don't see all the poop in my coop. <laughs> trying to keep it a secret. Um, <laughs> it's not a secret. Um, and then, <laughs> all of a sudden the island says, angry marshmallow is not angry. She's just con uh, concentrated. She's opinionated. Oh, okay. <laughs> yep. Poop in the coop. That's okay. We've all got poop in our coop. That's all right. Um, but I would like it to be nice and clean. So um, I, uh, if you guys have been watching my channel, you know that I, I usually get help cleaning my coop because there's just some stuff that physically is uh, harder for me. So I have this a wonderful friend, Julie, that comes and helps with the, uh, with the Chickenlandia coop. And I'm going to see when she can come out. And I want to do a, a video of that. And a video of me putting these uh, nesting pads in and just see how it goes. And I have a feeling, because my friend's been using them, that I'm going to really like them. And just the fact that they have the herbs um, in them is so neat and so handy. And Aspen, of course, is a really good quality material to use um, in your chicken coop. I used to use just aspen instead of pine um, shavings, but it's expensive. It's, it's a little bit more expensive. So, um, so I don't do that anymore, but I'm, I'm happy to be able to use them just in the, in the nesting boxes. Cause it's so good. Um, so that's it guys. I am excited and I appreciate all you guys joining me. Check out my favorite chicken. I am going to link their website in the 
uh, description and I'll start working on that as soon as I get off here. I'll add that to the description. So yeah, cool company, new to me. Um, I'm excited about it. I'm excited um, about working with them and just seeing how this goes. I can't believe they sent me 10 of them. I'm so happy. Uh, Homestead in the Highlands, everybody in here, please make sure you hit the thumbs up. Thank you. You're such a good admin. Yes, please hit the thumbs up. And thank you. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, stay tuned. I might just do one video next week because, uh, oh, Christy Bet says I integrated the new chickens with the old girls. Yay. How did that go? Let me know how that went. Cause I think we were talking about that last week that, or maybe it was a couple weeks ago that you were, you were, you know, I mean, it's, it's concerning when you have to do that. It's an event. <laughs> mm. Um, what was I saying? Oh, we're taking a little mini vacation next week. We're um, going to go stay at a little resort nearby. And I might be, you know, getting a pedicure. And if I'm doing that, I won't be able to make a video. <laughs> uh, Homestead in the Highlands. My little mini chick is happily integrated with the main flock now too. Yay! TJP. I think I know who you are. <laughs> TJ, thank you for joining us. I'm just wrapping it up. We, yes, mini vacation soon. Um, we opened, I opened the box. My favorite chicken. Super excited to try out these nesting pads. Super duper excited. Going to use them for the chickens. Going to use them for the ducks. And I am going to vlog all about it. But next week, I may be only doing one video because I am going to be on a mini vacation. So you never know. Maybe I'll check in. Maybe I'll take some footage of some seagulls. <laughs> Chicken of the sea. I think that's something else. <laughs> uh, so thank you guys. Please like and share. Please let all your friends know about Welcome to Chickenlandia because you know everyone's welcome in Chickenlandia. Remember to check out the Chickenlandia merch. Get your t-shirt. <laughs> and thank you to my mod moderators, Green Dream Project, Pag the Drum, and Homestead in the Highlands. You can check out their channels, awesome channels. And thanks, guys. And I hope you have a great weekend, and we will see you. I will likely be posting something on Monday. Wednesday is a toss-up. <laughs> I might be getting a pedicure. <laughs> so thank you so much. We'll see you guys soon. Bye.